Hey guys, even here, and in this video you're gonna see what Phil Heath looks like right now. So there was a live on his Instagram that I actually missed because it was in the middle of the night over here in Serbia, but there are a lot of screenshots that surfaced on the Instagram today, and this is one of them. This is the first one that I saw, and when I saw this front double bicep right here, I was honestly amazed, I thought this looks amazing, because look at how much he's actually able to open up. This reminded me of his 2010-2011 version, when he was actually able to open up, to open up the lats and the arms, and look at the, what a nice flow this physique had back in the day when he was able to open up. 2020 came and this was the front double bicep of Phil Heath. Not good, right? He was tilted forward and the lats are not opened up, they're not flaring. Also the arms, he could have uh, tilted the, the, the elbows a little bit backwards and the wrists as well, so the biceps would pop up a little bit more, but he just couldn't open up again. And also the stomach, I mean, that's like the, the main point here. The stomach does not look good, but let's put that aside. I was just talking about the biceps and the lats, how much he was actually able to open up and then he wasn't. Even if you ignore the stomach right here, which is very hard to do, but even if you did that, you can still see that his lats are nowhere near as good as they were before. I think it's only the thing of opening up. I think he just got a little bit too tight upstairs. Maybe it's because he's uh, trying to flex the stomach too much. Maybe because his stomach wasn't so distended back in the day, he was able to relax a little bit more in this pose and just to open up nicely. And it just looked great, right? So when I saw this screenshot from his live, I thought, he has his mobility back, right? This front double bicep right here does look good, I mean, it's very symmetrical, the arms are still there, he has the size, the lats are flaring as well, but then again, as I said before, was it really the mobility, the mobility problem, or was it just the fact that he wasn't able to control his midsection if he opens up? But then again, I saw another, another screenshot, and here you can see his midsection. Yeah, not good, not good, pretty horrible, pretty bad, yeah, I was hoping he might have fixed it or something, but no, no, the hernia surgery, you can see the scar tissue, but it's not just that, it's the distension, and I don't think this gut is going anywhere, so he has the size, you can see his arms and overall his, his body is just big, you can see the legs as well, look at the legs, I mean, they are huge right now as well, you can see it. So he has the size, he's still keeping the size, and I, think, and I think that's because he wants to compete again. Should he though? I don't think so. With this kind of midsection, I don't think he should compete ever again. I think his heydays are over, I don't think he can win the Mr. Olympia again, and for somebody who has won it seven times, seven times in a row, he shouldn't be doing this to himself anymore. I don't think he should be competing again. With this midsection, and it seems like it's not going away, yeah, he shouldn't do it, so, yeah, he's able to open up nicely, uh, mobility might be back, it could be just the fact that he wasn't controlling the stomach, but you can see the midsection, so, even though he has the size, he has the symmetry and everything, this, this stomach is a really big issue. Here's another one, from a different angle, from a little bit more from a side, so you can see how much is it popping, and yeah, he's probably thinking it's better, and maybe it's better than last year, I don't know, but it's not good. And it's not only the distension, it's not only the bloatness, uh, it's the way it looks, it just looks like a mess. It doesn't look good, it looks pretty bad, it looks really, really very bad. So again, I don't think he should be coming back on the stage if he looks like this, unfortunately. I hate to say this, but honestly, when I look at this midsection, I don't want to see this on any bodybuilding stage, from any bodybuilders, and especially not from a 7 times Mr. Olympia champion, arguably the second best bodybuilder in the history of bodybuilding. Another screenshot here, so again, he has the size, he's not downsized, my, my guess would be he is planning on competing again, uh, with that midsection, again, I don't think he can win, but he can do well, probably, I think the judges would ignore it, and give him again like top three spot or something like that, but uh, that's that's a loss for Phil Heath because he won seven Mr. Olympia titles, so I don't think he should be coming back, but I do think he will based on what I saw. Maybe he will fix it, maybe he will get it a little bit better, I doubt that, but it may happen, but it is what it is, this is how it looks like right now, and whatever you guys think, tell me down below in the comment section, do you think he's gonna come back or not? Also tell me that, and if you enjoyed this video, please like it. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.